Can dyspraxia cross over with mental health? Yes, sadly. And here are some reasons as to why. Dyspraxia continues to have its nickname clumsy child syndrome, as people tend to have the impression that people with dyspraxia grow out of it. This certainly isn't the case. As much as we can improve on certain skills, and bearing in mind this may take longer to do so, dyspraxia will still be with you. It's very common that people with dyspraxia live their lives undiagnosed, or they're diagnosed at a later stage in life. Commonly, this is at university. As university is mostly independent academic studying, a person with dyspraxia may find it difficult managing their time, writing the essays, and even just with general independent living, thus resulting to frustration and feeling like a failure. And this may generate low mood, anxiety, and even depression. If you are in education and you have dyspraxia or you're unsure, you are fully in your rights to get support and funding if eligible. And if you are currently experiencing troubles with your mental health, please talk to your local GP, a friend, or even some organisations like Mind or the Samaritans, and links to the experts will be down below. Just remember that you are not alone. One in ten people have dyspraxia, and in the next video we'll find out who else has dyspraxia.